Having good arms is important, fact. Even in a world that focuses a lot on functional performance, there is nothing wrong with wanting decent guns. But there is a lot wrong with the way that most people train them. Just doing standard curls and extensions is not enough to build well-rounded arms. But as always, there are a couple of tiny little tweaks that are actually super easy to implement into your routine that make a massive difference to your arms in regards to size, shape, and structure. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Jim Galvin and on this channel we explore all things training, nutrition, biohacking and ancestral living to help busy people just like you cut through the myths that still exist within the fitness industry so you guys can actually do the stuff that you need to do to help you improve your health, your performance and your physique. And today guys I want to share with you my three top tips to help you get your arms bigger, more aesthetic and stronger. So let's get cracking, shall we? I'll say straight off the bat that I personally do not, not, not believe that arms deserve their own session within a training week. It makes a lot more sense to me and I've had better results, to be honest, in my experience when I partner arm workouts, when I partner certain arm exercises with bigger movements. Triceps with push movements, as an example, and bicep with pull movements. Or both if you do full upper body days. Which basically means that all isolated bicep and tricep work won't be like the main movement that we do on a session. Obviously there'll be accessory movements, but the way that we execute these accessory movements has a big bearing on whether or not our arms do get bigger, stronger, and more aesthetic. Numero uno. Ensure that they're well-rounded in all fronts and that we've developed them in the three-dimensional nature that the God of Guns intended. And the way that we do this is by training all heads. And luckily for you guys, I'm not gonna go into all the boring science behind this stuff. What I am gonna do is what we do best on this channel and give you guys the most instantly applicable information. Basically, make sure you extend and curl in all three different wrist positions of the wrist. So that's supinated, pronated, and neutral as you're seeing here. Not one of these is the best one guys, it's not a hierarchy of importance, just make sure that you include all three. And another thing to vary is the position of the upper arm in the form of incline and decline curls. And exactly the same for extensions, guys. This also works the heads in a slightly different way and has them stretched out a bit more. Keep working with whatever rep scheme you're currently working on. Lower if it's strength, higher if it's hypertrophy, as we know. Any questions about this stuff, just chuck them in the comments and we'll get back to you ASAP. But execute them in this way and you are well on the way to building a more three-dimensional, well-rounded arm. And, and trust me, you will see the difference. Numero dos. We want good arms, right? Obviously, that's why we're watching this video. Arms. Z, plural. And by this, I obviously mean make sure they are both good. And a great way to do that is to do some single arm work regularly to ensure they are as balanced, even, and symmetrical as possible. Every one of the exercises you can think of doing will work single arm if you're nice and creative. Make sure you really feel the contraction in each arm. And another massive benefit, guys, is that developing symmetry in this way helps bulletproof your body from injury. Numero three, the pièce de résistance of guns. To get bigger muscles, as you may know, we need to shred muscle fibers. But what's the best way to do that? I hear you cry. Basically, the best way to do that is eccentric training. This increases the time under tension on the eccentric phase, which is basically the lengthening, normally lowering portion of a lift. There are two ways that we can do this. Either just purely and simply change the time under tension and control the eccentric in a set of eight, as an example, or you can do what's called some supramaximal eccentric loading. Lots of big fancy words there, guys, but in essence, this basically means more than you can cleanly lift, but you're only doing it for the slow, controlled, lowering portion of the movement. And then basically throw the weight back up and repeat. I say this now, guys, do not use this as your standard type of training with heavy, kind of supramaximal eccentric loading. This is a component, it's a hack, it's a kind of uh, extra principle that doing kind of once every two weeks or so is a good like rough starting guideline. It is this lengthening phase as I said that shreds most of the muscle fibers and it is a lot of these muscle fibers breaking down that can basically give your body dom. So you may well get doms, muscle soreness more severely than normal. So be aware of that but basically this means that eccentric loading does work but with the extra soreness that you get it works but it comes at a price. We all want training to be fun, right? But sometimes things get in the way. We get sore, we get stiff, etc. And again, hopefully what we do on this channel, guys, is demonstrate to you in a very, very clear way that you can train in a different way, 
stay healthy, stay enjoying the process and keep getting the results as long as you execute things in the right way. And without a shadow of a doubt, one of the most common things I hear from people is that they want to keep getting bigger, stronger, more aesthetic legs, but for whatever reason, through soreness, injury, preference, inclination, whatever, they want to put the barbell down for a bit on leg day. So I've recently done a video on exactly this, how you can continue to make sure that your legs keep getting bigger and stronger and more aesthetic performance, the way they look, everything without ever touching a barbell if you execute things, as always, in the right way. So if you did enjoy this video and you did get some value from it, please do click this link right here to make sure you watch this one ASAP. Please do subscribe if you've not yet done so. We've got an amazing amount of content en route just for you guys. Have a wicked day, guys. Stay strong, stay healthy, stay awesome, and I'll see you soon.